Hey guys, welcome back to Kids for Code. My name is Jason, and today we'll be going over variables and data types for Java beginners. So first, to review a summary questions from day two. Um, so number one, how do you write the main method? Well, there's only really one way to do this, so there's the answer. Uh, two, how would you print the words to your console? Hello, how are you? So we are using the print line instead of print, but print also works. Um, just make sure the words that you're printing are surrounded by double quotes. Uh, single quotes will not work. Okay, and then the difference between print and print line. Well, print line basically jumps the next line after you print your words. It's like pressing enter on your keyboard. It, it'll take your cursor down to the next line. So whatever you print after, um, so if you call print line um, and print some words out, uh, the next thing that you print will start on the next line. Um, whereas in print, it does not start on the next line. It will just start uh, on the same line after, uh, after, you, after you print. Okay, so the new stuff for today. What is a variable? Um, a variable holds or stores a value. So we use variables to label information, to store information. So in math, for example, we can have x equals 3. And X can only um, be three. It can't be three and four. It's just three. Uh, so that's the same with Java. Variables can only have one value. Um, and we can have different kinds of variables like with numbers and words and phrases. So that's what data types are. Um, they are different kinds of variables we can create. So we can go, uh, we can create integers, double strings, booleans. And now there are more data types than just those four, but we're only going to be covering those four. So integers, um, integers are just simply whole numbers. It can either be positive or negative. Uh, so the following examples would work like one, two, three, negative eight, zero also works, uh, but incorrect uh, one half because that's a fraction. Um, negative 100.1, that's also, that's a decimal. Um, but the interesting one here is 10.0. Now you may think, well, it's a whole number, right? But it's got the point zero on the end and integers can only store 10. So if you wanna store 10.0, um, you would just write it as 10. So now doubles are how we store fractions and decimals. So, um, one half would be correct, negative 3.5 is correct. Also, you can store zero just like with ints. Um, but the thing, the interesting thing here is one and negative two, because those are whole numbers. Um, so you may think they couldn't be stored in doubles. You may think you'd have to use an int, but the Java would just see one as 1 1.0 if you store it in a double. So that's why it still works. And now a string is a collection or string of letters that makes words or phrases. So hello world is a string. Um, strings don't necessarily have to have multiple words. They can just have one and that'll still work. And now Booleans. Booleans are simply just true or false. They can only be true or false, that's it. Okay, so to actually um, create variables, we're gonna actually go into Eclipse here in just a sec, but the format is um, data type, so that would be right, int, double, string, boolean, um, and then the name. So you can basically name it whatever you want. Um, however, there are a couple of rules you have to follow, and then equals the value. So remember, think of the value being placed inside of your variable. Your variable is like a label for your value. So some naming rules. Camel case, uh, we'll go over what that is uh, in just a sec. Um, cannot have spaces, so you can't have variable space name, you have to have in one, one word. Um, you can't start with a number or special symbol. You, however, can have these in your variable name, they just cannot be at the start. And it cannot be a Java keyword. You'll know if it's a Java keyword um, if it is highlighted in purple, such as double or int. Okay, so now we're gonna hop into Eclipse. So if I wanted to create a variable for age, I would do int age equals 42. So here we got the, we got the data type and then the name and then the value. Um, so now if I wanted to create a double, we'll double say price equals 4.99. And so we got double, right? That is a type name 
and then the actual value, which is a decimal, which is what doubles store. Now here's an interesting example. If I do double, uh, let's call it fraction equals one fourth, this will actually not store one fourth. It'll store zero. Um, and I'm not going to get into that because it's a bit too complicated for today. But um, whenever you want to store fractions, don't, don't uh, write it as a fraction. Just write the decimal form of the fraction. So instead of one fourth, I would write 0 0.25. And now for a string, so we can have string sentence, right? Uh, we can have, we can just say this is a sentence. Um, and now we can also have one word string. So string name equals Bob. So that works. And finally, Booleans. We have Boolean um, is cold outside. And we would say that's false right now. Okay, so those that is how you declare variables. That is how you create variables. And um, oh yeah, and camel case. So what I just did here is camel case. When you have multiple words um, that you want to call your variable, and you can't have spaces. So what programmers do is they write in camel case. That is where you um, make the first word lowercase and then the, the rest of the words uppercase. So that is, that is really all camel case is. So just first word lowercase, all the rest uppercase. That's how you write in camel case. Okay, so yep, here are some examples that we just went over in Eclipse. Okay, so now primitive versus non-primitive. So primitives include, so far what we learned, int double Boolean. Again, there are more primitives, we're just not gonna learn about them. Um, and they are basic building blocks um, for more complicated data types. So for example, a string is non-primitive. It is more complicated than int double and Boolean, which are all simple, and that's why they're primitives. So String is more complex and it is actually built off of primitives. So that is why, uh, that is how we distinguish between primitives and non-primitives. It's that um, primitives are the building blocks for other more complicated data types. Okay, and now we can get into printing variables. So we can print any of these four types of data here. Uh, with a simple print statement. So in order to print a variable, put the variable name in the print statement. That's it. No quotes, uh, no single quotes, double quotes, none of that, just the variable name. And this will print the value of the variable. It's not gonna print the word age. If I wanted to print the word age, I would, uh, I would put quotes around it, right? That, that would print age, uh, see the word age. Um, but I want to print the variable age. So I am not going to put quotes around it. I am going to just uh, put the word age, the variable name age, and it'll spit out 42. And that's what we want. So you can do that with um, doubles as well, strings, Boolean, it'll either print true or false. Now, one thing you have to be careful of is um, this uh, you have to make sure you initialize your variables. So if I make another variable here and I don't set it equal to something, by the way, initialize means um, set it equal to something. So if I try to print this, it'll actually give me an error because um, I didn't initialize it. It will say, um, and then it'll give me an option. So I have to initialize it by giving it a value. Uh, we can just say, Okay, and then so now now that error is fine. Now it'll print out um, last name, which has the value Smith. Okay, so now let's do a summary. So number one, what is an example of an integer? Or in Java, they're called ints, right? We write int. Number two, what is camel case? Number three, write the line of code to initialize a string variable. So um, you can choose any words you initialize it to. Remember, strings can be one or many words. 
And with that, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.